Praise the Lord, saints. Welcome to another day of daily prayer where we are come where we come together as the body of Christ to pray for your needs and your situation and the needs and situations of your loved ones. It doesn't matter. We are here together to pray in the name of Jesus so that you can walk in victory so that you can walk in in just fullness and abundance in the name of Jesus that's your purpose amen it is you are blessed to be a blessing hallelujah and you are your job is to access and to get those blessings and to give God the glory and praise because all blessings and good gifts come from God amen amen all right let's go ahead and get started uh turn over to Mark 11 verse 14 and I and again I'm glad that you can be with me and if you are joining us because you are reaping the benefits of just you know where when the saints gather the presence of God is here so who wouldn't want to be in the presence of goodness with all this darkness going on uh, that's carrying on in in the world but the reality of the situation is that if you're here and you don't know Jesus then you are missing out amen you are missing out you're suffering needlessly if you're a saint of God, there's, you know, afflictions and things that we go through, but the Lord delivers us out of them all. But if you are not saved, there is no hope for you. The only hope for you is to turn to Jesus. That is your hope today. And I want you to be with me, remain with me at the end of this, this study and prayer time. And, and we're going to lead you to Jesus Christ. Verse 14 and Mark 11. Okay, Mark 11, verse 14. It, okay, verse, I'm going to start at... 13 it says and seeing a fig tree afar off having leaves he came if happily he might find anything thereon and when he came to it he found nothing but leaves for the time of figs was not yet and Jesus answered and said unto it the fig tree he said unto it no man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever and his disciples heard it now stop there stop there saints go down to verse 19 I'm sorry verse 20 and in the morning as they passed by they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots and Peter calling to remembrance said unto him master Behold, the fig tree which thou cursed is withered away. And Jesus answering said unto him, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, be thou, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt, shall not doubt in his heart, but he shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. And he shall, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Now, folks, if this is not, <laughs> if this is not extreme faith, I don't know what is. Jesus spoke to a fig tree, an, uh, an object you know okay leaves you know they they do have they it's almost there's life you know in in leaves but he spoke to the fig tree and said no man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever and then the fig tree actually went in the process of of dying but then they didn't realize it until the next day 24 hours they said the next day so i don't know if it was 24 hours but they said in the morning could have been less than that and the fig tree was dried up from the roots it died and then Jesus said have faith in God he says whatever you say who he says I, I he says for verily that means surely that what's whosoever shall say unto this mountain you can talk to a mountain folks uh, in the you can talk to a mountain and that and you can say be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea 
It will happen. The requirement. Don't doubt. It says, and shall not doubt in his heart. Okay. No doubt whatsoever. When you speak to it, know it's going to happen. Know it's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. In the name of Jesus, fully persuaded, fully assured. No doubt, no whatever. You know it. Amen. It says, but shall believe that those things which he saith, and believe. No doubt, you just believe. And those things which he said shall come to pass and he shall have whatsoever he said. Then we're going to stop there because my God, you can, I want you to soak on that today as you go about your day. That if you speak to a fig tree, if you speak to a mountain and you speak in the name, it says, he said, have faith in God. Some people translate that as have the, having the God kind of faith or having God's faith I've heard that before too as well but he said have faith in God God did the same thing if you recall in Genesis 1 in chapter 1 he said light be and light became just like that he made the heavens and the earth he spoke everything into its existence and it happened God says Jesus God says that we have the same kind of faith working in us. If you are a born again Christian, if you are a child of God, hallelujah. What are you doing underneath problems, underneath situations when the word of God says you have the answer, the word for what what you need is in the word of God. Hallelujah. You just have to, you have to speak with the authority of Jesus, the promises of God, and rest assured and rest in God's word that it is yea and amen and apply and send the word to that situation and see it change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Oh, hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are invited here. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this revelation knowledge, Father. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I send the word to each and every person under the sound of my voice. I command all sickness and disease to be dissolved, dried up in the name of Jesus. No more dissipate in Jesus name. Every sickness and disease plaguing everyone under the sound of my voice. I say be, I say be gone in Jesus name, in Jesus name. And I speak healing over each and every person right now. I decree Isaiah 53, 4 through 5 that says by his wounds, we were healed. So I decree be whole in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name hallelujah 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 come on saints come on come on and agree with me agree with me in prayer hallelujah hallelujah I command all I command all lack and poverty to leave their homes right now in the name of Jesus and I decree abundance in the name of Jesus abundance in Jesus name Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly in Jesus name the word says that he supplies all all our needs according to his riches and glory in the name of Jesus. I decree your needs are supplied in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We call in provision. We call in We call in everything that you need. Hey, hey. Ramoko Ramaha. Come on, saints. Come on. Ramoko Hoshete Ramaha. I decree protection over each and every person right now under the sound of my voice. I decree Psalm 91 in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. No plague, no disease, no pestilence in the name of Jesus shall come near your dwelling in the name of Jesus because you are, you are under the shelter of the Most High God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Lord, let your people rise up today. Let Lord bless the work of their hands today. Lord, pour out your spirit upon them today in the name of Jesus. Lord, let them bear witness of your name and of your goodness, Father, in the name of Jesus. I give praise, Father, I give praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Hallelujah. Isn't that great, saints? God supplies. God provides. Hallelujah. He neither sleeps nor slumber. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, God. We praise you. We praise you. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now, if you are with us right now, you are feeling the very, you are feeling shaking the rumblings of the spirit of God. I know you are. And now it's time for you to, if you are with us and you don't know Jesus, it is time for you to get saved. Today is the day of salvation. And I want you to repeat this prayer after me. Say, dear God, I come to you as a sinner and I want to be saved. I ask you, dear God, to forgive me for all my sins that I've committed. I, I want to receive Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now let me pray. Father, I ask, I thank you for all the ones that have just received Jesus. And I know there's a celebration in heaven over them. I ask you, Father, to fill them with the spirit of God, the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, I ask that you would bestow upon them the power of the Holy Ghost. Fill them with the Holy Spirit, Lord God, with the evidence of speaking in tongues in the name of Jesus. Romo Yes, Father, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now, dear loved ones, you need to find a church. And if you have a problem with finding the church, then I want you to email us at email us at house prayer for all. That's house prayer the number four all and at gmail.com and we will help you to find a church let the pastor know that you want to be saved i mean that you want to you've just received jesus and that you now need to be baptized amen all right my brothers and sisters and friends i look forward to being with you again on another day of daily prayer all right you have a blessed day and go in the power of the holy spirit in jesus name bye bye